Hey, Len Johnson, Polaris Ambassador. We're here with Guy Philippone, who just got back from driving the new S4 Titan Adventure. Tell me your initial thoughts. Lots of low end torque. Rides and handles better than I expected. Took it for a little trail ride. Um, for a utility sled, it, it's got everything that I'd be looking for. Lots of low end grunt, mid range is good. Rides nice, surprisingly well for how big and heavy it is. Definitely impressed. The throttle impressed me too. Very, very linear throttle. And it's an electric, so. It's drive-by-wire, which. That's hard to get right. Which to <laughs> me is amazing that it's actually that linear being a drive-by-wire. Right. Good job, Polaris, on that one. What do you think about um, the power delivery? Is it clutching, low engagement? All low that? engagement, and which is perfect for what you're going to use it for, for utility. Low engagement, clutch engages, and it's, it's very linear down low. A little bit of throttle, a little bit of acceleration. Light off a little bit, slows down a little bit. It's not, not notchy, not surging, or anything like that. Okay. So the clutching is pretty spot on for what it's looking for so far. Right. Turning radius and things like that? Turning radius is absolutely amazing. That's what I wanted to say is that thing turns inside of our trail sleds, which are XCRs and boosts, and I couldn't believe it. Just turned around right in front of the house without having to go back into reverse. That is amazing. And that's amazing because it's a 155 inch track. It's huge, yeah. <laughs> it's It actually turns on itself. I couldn't believe it. Seating position, ergonomics, windshield, all that. All that, all that stuff seemed good to me. The only thing I might, I might add as a suggestion was, being how it's more of a utility sled, I think it'd be more comfortable for the driver to sit up just a little bit higher, more like an ATV style seating position. Yeah, you're, you're right. That, that. Besides that, windshield coverage is good. Everything else was good, but the, a, a little higher seat, I think that would, that would make it. That I agree much better. too, because I find that because it's so wide, yeah, it, it spreads my legs out a lot. Yeah, and. I realize now I need to do a little stretching. <laughs> yes, as, as we get. Kind of hurts it. after a while. But, yeah. Um, I'll get there. Yeah, I think but about an inch higher would probably do it. It would too. Yeah, yeah. That, so and you don't need to worry about the high center of gravity because you're not going fast anyways. You're, you're not right. doing a hundred. So, so there you go, players. Put a taller seat on that for next year. Yep. Sound of the engine, that kind of stuff. Very quiet, easy, easy going. The only time you can really hear the motor is when you smash the gas. When you smash the throttle, that's when you. You can and hear that. I think it's the intake I'm hearing. Because of the be. old axis chassis, the, the air intakes are kind of pointed back at you. Yeah. So I'm hearing that. That's right. That it could drone. be because that's the, it is that, that weird air intake. intake noise. Yeah. yeah, that's what I hear. But just tra cruising around, trail speeds up to 30, 40 miles an hour, nice and quiet. I think if they put that in the Matrix chassis where the air uh, intakes are out to the side, yep. that'll quiet down that drone that you hear, yep. that intake drone. Yeah, that would Great. definitely help. All right. Yeah, great sled. Today I'm with Sylvain Laflamme. Well, Sylvain just got back from trying the Titan, and Sylvain, yes. tell me your initial impression of the Titan. Well, the first impression when you look at it, you think it's a Titanic. It's huge. But <laughs> when you get on it, the thing is peppy. It's very easy to drive. It's very plush. I think it would be a great sled to boondock all day and ride all day without getting tired. Pretty amazing sled. And what do you think of the four-stroke? Well, power delivery and stuff. Well, the power delivery of a four-stroke, I've always said it compares to a diesel in a pickup truck. All the torque is at the bottom, which makes it easy to drive when you're going slow. Um, but the weight, there's always a trade-off. There's always a compromise. Would I want one? No. But for that application, I think it's perfect. Okay. I think Polaris did a great job on that thing. So, um, utility-wise, what do you think? You think it would be a good utility sled to have around... Your cabin in the woods. Of course, I think it's perfect. Hauling wood out of the woods. I you think you, it's hard to find a better sled than that. With that wide of a track and that torque at the bottom and stuff, you can work all day. No problem with belt issues with the four stroke, they're easy on the belts. The yeah. traction is there. You can go slow. You can pull heavy loads. The only downside is if you get stuck. Oh yeah. It's but I mean, sled. but that, you know, but uh, I think it's a perfect sled for what it's made to do. I am today with Marco Filippone, and Marco just got off the brand new 23 Polaris Titan Adventure, four stroke. What's your initial thoughts? You know, I thought it was a great sled. Of course, this is a utility sled, Len, right? And oh my God, boy, did they execute well. Incredibly torquey when you talk about the motor. I guess we'll talk about the motor first, then the chassis. Very torquey, very smooth, and I will say the drive-by wire is the best drive-by wire I've driven, you know, and I've driven all the manufacturers drive-by wires. So it's very, very 
I'll say easy to drive, very torquey, plenty of power, a lot more power than I expected, to be honest with you, you know, right. uh, which is very good. Then the chassis itself, I'll tell you, with the wide track, this is a great utility slip. I'm very impressed, actually, with the whole package. Um, what do you think of the ride? Smoother than I expected Isn't for a it? utility sled. So I, yeah, when I borrowed it from you, I actually left on the trails for a little while. That's why you probably guys thought I was lost, but I wasn't. And um, handles better than I expected too, because with the wide track, you know, you think you're really going to kind of push in the corners. It didn't push at all. It steered very positively. It wasn't hunting. So you wouldn't even know it's sitting on it that you're actually driving a large utility sled. You know, it drives like a, a you know a regular trail sled, which is really really nice. Right. And the gear selection is, is top notch too. I mean, it's easy to, to select what you want. High range, low range, reverse. So right. yeah, I thought it was a very well executed package. And, uh, and we've been talking about getting a utility sled, you know, something like that. And I'll tell you, this, this really fits the bill. And, the and that's why we bought size. it. We bought it for, yeah. uh, we have the th three cabins. We have trails that access coming in and out. And they're always bumpy as heck. And so I've been, we actually bought a Mogul Master Oh, yeah. Groomer for it, a little four footer, yep. and it does a phenomenal job. And this thing doesn't even phase this really thing. pulls put it in low range and it just goes. Yeah, Ambassador Len Johnson here, and I'm with Tim Wilder, who's also another ambassador. And today we had our uh, ambassador event in Pittsburgh, New Hampshire. And while we we're out riding around, we brought the Titan Adventure with us, the 2023 four stroke 1000cc twin. Tim Wilder, live in Rochester, New Hampshire, been an ambassador with. With Lenny for a few years now. We ordered a new S4 this year, just waiting for it to come in, uh, and got the opportunity to ride the sled today. And you actually ordered this sled, right? Didn't yep. You? Yeah, with a 137 on it. Oh, so yep, you the went Adventure with the, 137. The Adventure, yeah. Yep. 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 With the S4 engine. Yep. So, what's your first, you know, like your initial impressions of the engine and the, the uh, electric throttle? All that? Yeah. So it's, it's been a few years since Polaris took a stab at you know putting a. Uh, uh, a four-stroke out there and getting on one today for the first time in a number of years what a difference the technology's come tenfold from what it was before so the sled offers this one of the smoothest transitions from power to the track to the trail that gives you the ability to take off without extra track spin overpower load on the on the end of the the uh, throttle and it just gives you a great feeling underneath yourself that the engine you know is just a bulletproof engine the Titan itself being a 20 inch wide, 155 inch track, what did you think of the chassis itself? Stable. Yeah. How's the ride? Yeah, smooth. You know, it, it, it eats bumps, it's comfortable, um, and gives even power delivery all the time, no matter where you are in the throttle. Yeah. Are you going to win any races on the lake with this thing? No, no but you'll always get home. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and you'll never, never have to worry about passing a gas station because yeah. you can fill it up once. <laughs> I think I've got it up to 70 once. But it gets to 60 pretty good. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's yep. where it likes to be, 0 to 60, that in that range. Yep. And that's plenty fast for trail right now. Yeah. 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 No, Anything else about it that you noticed? No, I mean, sound, you know. Oh, yeah, I mean, completely, completely different sound. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a much more subtle, deeper sound, like a rumble, more than a, you know, that raspier or brappier two-stroke two that you used to. So, uh, you know, almost like uh, having an Evan Rude attached to the back going across the lake. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hey, Ambassador Len Johnson here with you. And what we're doing today is we're doing some more on the Titan. So with about 236 miles on it now, still breaking it in, still getting used to it, still learning about how the sled is. But I have to say it's pretty amazing. It goes good. It's quiet. It's decent on fuel. I've got the inch and a half track on it. And one of the things I've noticed with this sled is the ability to turn, the turning radius for a 155 inch long track, this thing turns pretty sharp. It actually outturns any sled I've ever been on, modern sled I should say. So what we're gonna do in this video, in this part of the video, we're gonna show you how tight of a turn radius it has. And we're gonna compare Brooks Assault, which is a 146, that turning radius to the turning radius of the 155 Titan Adventure. Now, if you, as you can see, the Titans, the inner circle, which is pretty tight, I have a six foot width arm span from fingertip to fingertip. And I would have to guess that the inside edge of the Titans turning radius is somewhere around nine or ten feet. That's pretty good. If you look at the assault radius, it's, it's out there by at least three feet wider 
on the outside edge to the inside edge of the assault's turning radius. So a great feature of the Titan for people that are going to be using it for utility riding is the ability for this thing to turn in such a tight circle. Another feature of the Titan Adventure with the four-stroke motor is the accessibility to stuff. So you've got an easily accessible oil tank, a built-in belt holder. It just seems to have plenty of room under the hood to get at certain components for like oil changes and things like that. The belt's very accessible and there's a spare belt holder in here. Now I want to talk to you about cooling. The four-stroke on the Titan Adventure has a front-mounted radiator which also has a fan behind it. This sled never gets above 180 degrees all the time that I've been driving it. And we've been driving it on very marginal snow conditions, deep snow conditions, you know, quite a range of different conditions. Today it's about 30 degrees out and it just doesn't seem to break a sweat. This thing just stays cool. And it's gotta be because of this radiator they have up front. So not only does it have the radiator, it's got the rear heat exchangers like a regular snowmobile. And very important when you're grooming or going slow or you're in warm spring conditions so that you know the sled's not going to overheat on you. Another thing that I discovered about the Titan Adventure is that it has a block heater. It comes right from the factory with a block heater. So you guys that are living up in the Arctic Circle or Canada, anywhere where it gets sub sub zero really cold and this thing is stored outside of overnight, you're going to want to plug that block heater in for those 30 below mornings where you know it's going to struggle starting and that's an awesome feature because if you think about it this thing can be an all-weather vehicle it's going to run when it's warm or it's going to run when it's super cold 